Day 29, Fourth Wednesday of Lent. Scene 5, Outside. A reading from the Gospel of John, 19, 4 through 8. Once more, Pilate went out and said to them, Look, I am bringing him out to you, so that you may know that I find no guilt in him. So Jesus came out, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple cloak. And he said to them, Behold the man. When the chief priests and the guards saw him, they cried out, Crucify him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. The Jews answered, We have a law, and according to that law he ought to die, because he made himself the Son of God. Now, when Pilate heard this statement, he became even more afraid. Reflection Pilate could not escape the trial and punishment of Jesus, as he was not able to stand for his convictions. The scene now moves from inside to outside. For the first time after Jesus entered the praetorium, he faces the people. Jesus comes to meet the people wearing a crown and a purple cloak, the symbols of a king. Although the priests and the people wanted to see him as a defeated criminal, he comes out as a victorious king. Pilate says, Behold the man. In Latin, ecce homo. In Latin it means, Here is the man whom the world has been speaking of and waiting for. According to Isaiah, this man is not a mortal man. In Isaiah 52.14, it is written, Even as many were amazed at him, so marred were his features, beyond that of mortals his appearance, beyond that of human beings. If this man is not a mortal man, then who is he? According to Jeremiah 23.5.6, See, days are coming, oracle of the Lord, when I will raise up a righteous branch for David. As king he shall reign and govern wisely. He shall do what is just and right in the land. In his days Judah shall be saved. Israel shall dwell in security. This is the name to be given him. The Lord our justice. He is king. Question. What is the concept of Christ the King in your mind? Action. Today, think of times when you have rejected the face of Jesus the King in the poor.